Hi guys, um, this is Alex. I'm about to leave for my third season in Antarctica. And um, in so doing, I finally just packed my bags. I only found out a few days ago that I'd actually be going to Antarctica, so this has been a kind of a hectic packing schedule. I would have shown you uh, what it looked like while I was actually packing, but nobody wants to see my apartment that messy. But I've been up since about 4 in the morning this morning, um, getting my apartment in order, and I'm about to leave to get on a bus to go to Denver, to get on a plane to go to Los Angeles to get on another plane to Sydney and then to Christchurch where I'll spend a few days getting my equipment together and getting sized for the proper um, outer gear that we wear before finally flying to McMurdo Station en route to my final destination which is going to be Taylor Valley in the Transantarctic Mountain Range. So it is, today is Monday, November 4th and I have a couple days of travel ahead of me. I'll get to New Zealand on the 6th and then finally fly to my first stop in Antarctica um, this upcoming Friday, which I suppose is the 8th. And yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of time on planes. I'll catch up on my, um, my movie watching, I suppose, in the meantime. But until then, this is the amount of gear that I have packed for three and a half months um, in Antarctica. And I, I'm worried that I packed too much. It doesn't, I'm not sure if it looks like a lot or not, but I, I'm going to hate carrying these things for a while. But this is all of my gear, minus things like food. So all of my shampoo, books, laptop, clothing, all of that stuff, I've crammed into those two bags. And I think they weigh about 35 pounds each. So this is my gear for Antarctica, and I'm about to start my next season. I'll show you guys what it's like when I get there. Cheers. So I finally made it to Christchurch, New Zealand. I'm pretty tired and jet lagged and my ears are still pressurized, but I'll be here for a little less than a day actually. Tomorrow I'll get all of my um, outer equipment measured from the clothing distribution center, the Polar CDC. So my jacket, my pants, all of the, the outer gear that they issue us that we don't actually bring ourselves, I'll get fitted for tomorrow morning. And then the next day I'll fly to McMurdo. I think it's going to be on a C-130. Uh, the C-17s are a little bit quicker. It's around a nine hour flight, but I'll find that out, um, I guess, in two days. We have a really early flight, and then um, after that flight I'll, final I'll finally be at McMurdo. Um, and I'll be there for about one to two weeks to kind of get my equipment in order before finally making it to my final destination in the McMurdo Dry Valleys. But in the meantime, I'm really excited to be in this hotel room and have a bed so that I can sleep for a little bit and then um, make the leg to McMurdo in a day and a half.
So this is where I'm going to be staying while I'm in McMurdo. And I'm only going to be here for um, about a week or so while I get my equipment ready. But I don't have a roommate at the moment, which is kind of awesome. Um, just because it's nice to be able to sleep and stuff. And I've just thrown my stuff in a completely messy arrangement. But these rooms are pretty nice. Um, there's a little sink area. And then um, closets for... I guess if I had a roommate, there's stuff too. And then um, we share a bathroom with one other. just trying to be quiet in case they're sleeping so we share a bathroom with just one other room so four people to one shower is a pretty nice ratio and well this is my setup at McMurdo um, I'm just gonna be able to reorganize my equipment while I'm here um, I have to clean a lot of bottles so that I can collect water for my experiments um, so that's what my lab team is gonna be doing we're just gonna be cleaning a lot of equipment and then hopefully in about a week or so we'll be able to um, get on one of the helicopters to get out to our final destination um, so I'm really excited to be here finally um, hopefully my ears will start to depressurize soon and I'm really excited to get a tent in order and go out to the dry valley soon. But in the meantime, I will completely relish in my last few days in a bed before I go out to the valleys and live out the duration of my Antarctic time um, in a tent with a team of uh, two other people. So it's going to be a small team. And I'm really excited. I'm glad to be here and I'll keep you guys updated. All right?